What's a food people love and you just don't understand why? My whole family adore olives and emo they're just gross little salt beetles. LaCroix, it tastes like you're drinking TV static while someone in the other room shouts the name of a fruit. Kombucha. It tastes like the equivalent of purified and sanitized diarrhea and is one of the foods that is only popular because of hipsters monsieur. Raw oysters. Cottage cheese. Disgusting emo. I was literally going to write this. It's not even really the taste. It's the fact that it is a widely used reference to describe the look and consistency of a yeast. Infection. Super spicy foods. Do they really enjoy their mouths being on fire? Yes, I do. It's like being a bit of adrenaline junkie. When you eat it, your mouth is burning, face is sweating and you smile, thinking, I didn't add the Tabasco yet. Also, I don't feel it is spicy. As other people, it's gotta be a tolerance thing. Cause I'm the exact way. Like my girlfriend can barely smell a jalapeno without gagging and I can just crunch one like a carrot. I also love the mouth burn, I always say. If the back of my head isn't tingling, it's not hot enough, I make everything super hot. Basically the majority of my meals my mouth is on fire. My lips are numb and my nose is running. I read somewhere that spicy food can be sort of an addiction. And I 100% think that's true. Beets. I get that they're super healthy and whatever. But for me there's so many other healthy options that don't taste like dirt. Beets are God's gift to the world. I would die before allowing the juicy red object of my worship to be profaned and libeled by one. Such as you. Okay Dwight. Avocado. It's mushy flavorless and has the texture of wet grass. I've tried eating it in sushi. I've tried putting it on toast with some sugar. I've tried blending it into a milkshake or a smoothie. I've tried adding it to salads, sandwiches, desserts, everything. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. Still sucks. I'm not crazy about just avocado, but mix it with cumin, tomato, onion, salt, lime juice, an optional cilantro to taste. And I'm addicted. Cilantro is not optional. Lobster. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty good. But it's severely overhyped and overpriced. Also steak. For the same reason. I have no idea why anyone would pay over $30 for a hunk of meat. It's a rather boring food emo. Do drinks count? If so tomato juice or stuff like V8 juice. So nasty. Disgusting. I can't trust people who love Caesars. Yeah let me just down this glass of cold pasta sauce and vodka. Slightly off topic, but the answers in this thread are beginning to make my blood boil. I disagree with absolutely every comment here lol. Blue cheese. That's definitely mine. Most of the foods I dislike are due to texture. Mushrooms. Bananas. But blue cheese is the exception, it has such a hideous hideous flavor that I truly don't understand how anyone enjoys. Squash. What part of squash makes you want to cut it up and put it in your body? Lol I never understood it. I used to hate squash. No flavor. Awful texture. Just bad. Then I tried it grilled. With Italian dressing on it. Turns out, you don't have to steam the ever loving shit out of it before you eat it it can actually taste. Good. If prepared properly, same thing holds with Brussels sprouts. Used to hate those micro cabbages, but grill them with a bit of salt and olive oil and suddenly I'm asking for seconds. Oh man, Brussels sprouts. A cafe semi-affiliated with my workplace has them on the menu. They always do the catering for our holiday parties. At our Christmas party my first year working there, one of the only vegetarian options was Brussels sprouts. They ended up as about half my meal. They were so damn good. I've since ordered them multiple times from the cafe. Always gets a weird look from my co-workers. Vegemite. Evil laugh would bow out. Marmite. Marmite. But pa might not. You. Ow. In Australia we train our babies to love the taste of Vegemite by giving them small doses from birth until they can eat a whole jar with a spoon. Vegemite is the only known protection from drop bears. 
slathering it on your skin is the best protection. But consuming large amounts will imbue your skin with Vegemite defense and should prevent stray drop bear attacks. Just remember that Vegemite is designed to be had sparingly on bread and not eaten like some kind of torture ice cream, bats and pangolins, coughs, pickles, and pickle juice. What the fuck is wrong with everyone? It's like a non-stop bad dream with all this drinking pickle juice nonsense. And the flavor, dill. And stop putting the shit on my burgers. I don't want my car to come with the wheels angled inward like your friend's brother's 2003 Honda Civic. I don't want my pants pre-ripped. I don't want my purchases ruined before I get the monsieur stop putting pickles on my food without being asked. Edit, and milk, people that will choose to drink a glass of milk are strangers to me. You had me at pickles. You lost me at milk. Some people love salty and sour foods. We all have different flavor profiles. People who love pickles probably also love olives and vinegar. Sushi. Sushi isn't just raw fish though. There's also vegetable sushi, which yes, exists in Japan. And then there's this style of sushi called Inarizushi that's just vinegared rice stuffed inside. Fried tofu pockets. Sushi actually means vinegared rice, not raw fish. So technically you could eat vinegared rice by itself and it could still be considered sushi. Unless you dislike all forms of sushi including the vegetable and tofu ones. I should have made a comment on how I don't eat any type of seafood. It's not like I only dislike sushi lol. I love it but I can totally see why someone wouldn't. The golden rule is that if you are going to try it for the very first time, do it with someone who knows what to order and how to eat it. Not really a food, but a herb. Cilantro. Whenever my family would get tacos, we would get them with cilantro. I don't know how anyone could like or stand the taste of them because for me it tastes like nickels. Spam. I love spam, but I think most of it is nostalgia. Everyone I know grew up with it, says they love it, but as adults we rarely eat it. As an adult, I eat it at least once a month. It's just easy food to make. I fry it up and eat it with rice and veggies or eggs or make spam masubi. There was a point in my life I would have agreed, but my favorite breakfast is spam, eggs and rice. Right now, the Dalgona coffee food trend. Mushrooms I just don't like the masseur I think it's a texture thing. Technically not food but Coca-Cola tastes horrible and leaves my teeth feeling squeaky. Nacho cheese. Back when Jello wrestling was popular, my friends and I signed up as contestants in a Jello wrestling contest when we got there. Instead of Jello there was nacho cheese to wrestle in. It took me 3 days and 8 showers to stop smelling like nachos. Why would you even agree to that when you saw it was nacho sauce? Oysters. Expensive, salty snot. Honestly seafood. Anything remotely shellfish makes me gag. The smell. The taste. The chewy texture. And any fish that's too fishy. Greater than any fish that's too fishy. I don't mind the fishiness. But generally that means that it's not particularly fresh. Chick-fil-A. It's just nothing to write home about. Their regular chicken breading is too sweet for me. But their spicy chicken is legit. Thank you. I've never had a particularly good meal there. The only thing they have that's quite good is the waffle fries. The waffle fries are the worst thing in my opinion. Avocado. Hey at least you'll be able to afford a house. It's one avocado Michael, what could cost $250,000? LMAO if I had money I'd give you an award for this. Unfortunately I bought an avocado the other day so I'm flat broke. Hey buddy watch it. Sour cream. Anything from Taco Bell. Especially when there's an authentic Mexican restaurant nearby that's just like a dollar or two. More. I love authentic Mexican food. But that's not what Taco Bell is competing with. In my opinion, Taco Bell is its own thing. Sometimes I feel like eating beef tongue tacos or tamales. But sometimes I just want a damn crutch wrap. That said, I do get why people don't like the taste of Taco Bell.
Even though I love it. Mushrooms nobody seems to have noticed that there's some sort of fungus. Also some source of fungus cheese, miso, soy sauce, air cured meats. Give me all the fungus please. I will have you know I am a very fungi. Bubble gum ice cream with actual gum pieces. Greater than with actual gum pieces no way that actually exists. It absolutely does. We have an ice cream in Australia called Bubble Bill and it's a cowboy shaped ice cream with a gumball bit for the nose. My childhood favorite to be honest. Lettuce it's just gross crunchy water. That's what makes it great. If I want something to be crunchier without affecting the flavor much I can just throw lettuce it. It, yay. Iceberg lettuce is exactly that. 100%. There's some good lettuces out there though. Arugula blew my mind the first time I had it. Bananas. I have always thought they were slimy. And banana flavored candy is utterly repulsive. Avocado. It tastes like garbage. I don't understand the hype. I get shit for it all the time. But I hate bananas. The taste is bad. The texture is horrible and mushy and the smell makes me want to vomit. I have people constantly telling me that if you mix banana into food you can't taste it. But they're wrong. I can always taste it. I have never been a picky eater by any stretch. I was the kid who ate their veggies because they wanted to. And that has continued into my life where I will pretty much try anything once. But for those few foods that I don't like, I really, really don't like them this year I can only think of like three. Bananas. Celery. It's crunchy water with a bad aftertaste and it ruins a tuna sandwich. And coconut. The aftertaste is bad and the papery texture makes me dag. I don't mind bananas. But I agree that the people who say if you mix it into food you can't taste it are lying. You can always taste banana. Cilantro. Tastes like soap. Genetic rival identified terminate. I feel so sorry for people with the gene that ruins cilantro for the monsieur. You have that weird gene that makes it taste like soap. Cilantro tastes like heaven to me. And cranks my appetite up to crazy levels. Or like moldy mint. This is actually due to a gene you have in your body. Some 30% of people have a gene that makes cilantro taste like soap. I don't have it because cilantro is fantastic tasting to me. Nutella, it's so sweet and slimy. Motherfucking coconut ruins everything it is added to. I'm gonna get shit on pizza. I mean, I like it, kinda, but I really don't understand the obsession over it. The only time I've come close to understanding the obsession was when I was in NYC and we were out. Late a drinking and stopped at this little 24-hour Detroit-style pizza place in Manhattan. It was within walking distance to our Airbnb so we got a pie and then were walking back eating it in the freezing rain. It was glorious, but I've never had an experience like that with any other pizza. Detroit-style in NYC. Weird, right? That's what I thought. The sign just said, Detroit Pizza. There were essentially deep dish rectangular pizzas, but the crust was so crunchy and there was a perfect amount of meat, cheese, veggies. I'm sure my perceived level of tastiness was directly correlated to my level of drunkenness but I DC. It was delicious XD. NYC pizza is really something else. I've only been to NYC once, but I don't think I ate pizza for a month afterwards. Beets and Brussels sprouts. Mayonnaise like, it's basically straight lard. It's eggs and oil whipped together. It's oil and egg not really the same thing as lard. Foie gras. Brie cheese. I think it just tastes like moldy dirt. People are obsessed with it. Effing avocados. Hummus. I like hummus but when people order it as an appetizer at a restaurant I get pissed. It's so uninteresting. Eggs. All rubbery and sulfurous. I never liked the egg nausea that I always felt for approximately 4 hours after eating the monsieur after. Mentioning this to my friends a few years ago it turns out that not everyone experiences this. My dad and my sister both do. And that I'm probably just egg intolerant. Guacamole. Hey, let's take this nasty green fruit. Squish it into a muddy paste. And dip stuff in it. No thanks. It's Mexican fruit salad. 
Ranch dressing with pizza. Pizza already has enough going on. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.